music acts are 100% more cool than a comedian. Number one, they can start a song with this next song. It's about a time I had my heart broken. I have to say, this next joke is about a time I was embarrassed by my own penis. Uh, I imagine that anyone who watched me walk up here was like, I bet this guy has some jokes about being single and lonely. Hey, congratulations, you were right. Uh, I have terrible news, I'm almost 30 years old. I know, I ended up with this at 30. Unfortunate. Uh, it's changed a lot of things in my life. The number one thing I've noticed it's changed is uh, the way I hit on women. I used to hit on women in their 20s, and that was great, because they're naive and they don't know any better. You can just lie to them and say things like, I love you, and I'll never do terrible things to you. Spoiler alert, you do them anyway. Now, I'm hitting on women in their 30s. It's a totally different deal. It's much more pragmatic. It's much more realistic. I'll see a girl in her mid-30s at the bar, and I'll walk up to her and go, Hey, girl, I saw you over here not getting any younger. <laughs> yes. If you'd like to talk a while, I'll be over here being your last chance not to die alone. <laughs> And to sweeten the deal, I filled my pockets with treats for the numerous cats we both know you have at your house. <laughs> Who are we trying to kid? You're lonely. Uh, to try and combat uh, this singleness, I recently got Tinder. Anybody on Tinder? I know more of you are on Tinder than you are admitting right now. Uh, Tinder is a great website if you want to ruin your notion of humanity. Uh, for you guys, one guy was like, I know all too well. Uh, here's what Tinder is, if you don't know. Uh, it's an app I can pull up on my phone, and in the middle of my screen is a picture of me with an expanding circle around it. It is literally pussy sonar. <laughs> my dick is just looking to torpedo some poor unsuspecting lady. And I'll swipe right and send a message like B9 or A2. Maybe she'll say, miss. Maybe I'll be lucky and she'll say, you sunk my battleship. <laughs> that joke takes a minute because it's the dumbest thing in the world. Uh, I'm the kind of guy that doesn't get pictures of naked women sent to him a lot. Uh, what I get, what this brings in, is women send me pictures of their puppy dog. Because they're like, he probably appreciates something that's adorable. And don't get me wrong, I do. Uh, I also like boobs. Just heads up. If you want to send me a dual photo of a puppy and boobs. I'll probably Photoshop the puppy out for when I'm, you know, doing business. That's what I refer to masturbating as, is doing business. Get it really get down to the factory. That's what I call my bedroom. <laughs> uh, I never understood the impulse that leads a man to catcall a woman, like just yell things at her across the street. But I started to understand it today when I saw a woman walking a dog I thought was adorable. And I really wanted to, to see that dog. And so I called across the street, Hey girl, let me pet that! Girl, bring that dog over here, let me pet that girl. Let me rub that belly, girl. Girl, let me scratch them ears, girl. Let me get that leg going. Girl, let me pet that. <laughs> yep. That's the thing I say on stage. That's what my life has become. So, I probably don't look to you guys like a person who's ever been physically thrown out of a bar. <laughs> News for you, I have been. It was in Las Vegas at a bar that doesn't exist anymore. It was the Star Trek theme bar. It was a beautiful experience, guys. Let me tell you what happened. Uh, they have a drink there called the Warp Core Breach, which the menu says will serve six to eight people, and we each had three which is uh, what you call too much to drink. Uh, at some point, a waitress uh, told me I was cut off, and I said, that sounds reasonable, but first, I'm going to switch to a different table that you didn't see me come in at and order more drinks that are named after aliens that Captain Kirk had sex with, which probably left them riddled with weird human STDs. I don't know. <laughs> I don't know if you guys want to get deep into what weird shit Captain Kirk was into. I would like to see me after the show for a Captain Kirk conversation. <laughs> I 
and one guy is like, I can't wait till he gets off stage. So at some point, someone notices, and a security guard who is dressed as a Klingon has to escort me out of the bar. And I was telling this story on stage a few nights ago, and someone said, hey man, weren't you embarrassed to be thrown out of a bar by a grown man dressed as a Klingon? And I said, not at all. Klingons are notoriously fierce warriors. <laughs> Why would I be embarrassed? To, I mean, if I was thrown out by a Romulan, maybe. <laughs> Guys, I like to end my set with a joke that guarantees I will not get laid after. <laughs> and I feel like my Klingon slash Romulan bit has really secured that goal. <laughs> I want to thank you guys for having me. Uh, I hope that you guys come out to more local comedy events. I'm going to do a quick plug. If you want to, this Friday at 8.30, Dan Soder is going to be in town. He's a very funny comedian. has a show on MTV. He's been on Conan. And uh, I'm lucky enough to get to open for him. So uh, check out ComedyParlor.com. Come see me there. And uh, I will see you guys in the corner where I'll be drinking away the memories of doing comedy. Woo! <laughs>